never use a PV system to drive a the element of electric geyser or a solar geyser, a backup element of a solar geyser. Never do it. <clears throat> I'll tell you why. It costs too much. Number one, the system, if it's anywhere close to being decent in terms of the panel and the uh, microinverters is going to cost you 60, 70,000 Rand, which is three times more than a solar geyser will cost. Number two, understand that a solar geyser's element, okay, so let's do the maths. The element of a solar geyser or an electric geyser is, let's, let's say the average is four kilowatt. If you have a family of four, you're using, let's say, 400 liters of hot water a day. Um, that element is then on or active for four hours. So you have four kilowatt element for four hours a day is 16 kilowatt hour. A solar geyser at 20,000 Rand will replace that energy requirement. But a PV system Let's say a three kilowatt PV system, a good one is 100,000 Rand. Three kilowatt can produce over a six day, six hour day in Cape Town, 18 kilowatt hour a day, 18 units of energy. So how do we do that? We take the size of the system, three kilowatt. Okay, babe, I'll sort it out now. The so a three kilowatt system, the PV system, is going to generate six sunlight hours in Cape Town on average. Six times three equals 18. So it's 18 units of energy. Those 18 units of energy are going to go straight to your electric geyser. They're going to go straight there. And all you've got is 120,000 Rand electric geyser. That's all you've got. First thing you do when you're going solar, the very first thing you do, is you disconnect your electric geyser and you put in a solar geyser. You then measure your daily energy consumption. It should be down by 35%. And then you build a PV system that can manage that load. Not the other way around. Reduce, then produce. Reduce, then produce. Save yourselves tens of thousands of rands. If you want me to do the calculation, ask. I'll send you the calcs, the math doesn't lie. Solar search.